Fantastic. Okay, well done everybody. You're doing really well. Okay, so let's have a look at um, getting a deeper understanding around personality types. Okay, so the first thing I want you to consider is when we look at personality types, once you uncover the different personality types, so as I explained previously, the personality types as we look at them, we use the acronym SOLD. S stands for socializer, which is your nurturing kind of person. Your O stands for organizer, which is your very organized type of person that loves checklists and loves everything to be systematic and uh, designed to be methodical. The L stands for learner, which is your knowledge seeking type of individual who cannot get enough information. They um, they're absolutely desperate to get as much information about every single subject. So when you're selling to a learner, you, you can never give them too much information. And then the D stands for dominant, and the dominant personality type is your kind of forward-thinking, uh, imaginative type of individual. Um, then, of course, when we, when, once we understand what the personality types of pe uh, different individuals are, those personality types speak to the thinking style that that, that individual is going to exhibit. So, in other words, um, when we're talking about a socializer, the type of thinking style that they would exhibit would be one related to people, related to team, related to working together, collaboration, etc. An organizer, um, when we talk about their thinking style, they think in a very ordered fashion. Everything's about checklists. Everything's about being systematic. And they love things, one thing to follow on after the other. They really like things to be organized. Then the learner, the learner's thinking style is one of deep introspection, one of needing to know a whole lot of knowledge. Uh, they're very slow to make decisions, um, but very, very thorough. When they're examining something, they turn a coin over a hundred times in their, in their hand before they'll, uh, uh, before they'll spend money. And then, of course, the dominant, they are really forward-thinking individuals. They're the people that they generally uh, CEOs of organizations. Um, when we talk about their thinking style, they like to think in terms of themselves. So whenever you're going to be dealing in a business sector with the dominant, always think about how to turn the whole conversation, turn the value around so that it's expressed in terms of the dominant themselves. All right, so let's have a look now at um, what do they actually want? So when we're dealing with the dominant, what, what are they actually looking for? The first thing a dominant wants is they want to know why. So whenever you're dealing with the dominant, whenever you're trying to sell something to a dominant type of personality, always be absolutely clear on why. But most importantly, when you explain that why, make sure that it's an executive summary. They don't like a lot of detail. They want the absolute minimum detail, but they want to know in that detail, you've got to tell them exactly why you want to do business with them. In other words, what's in it for them, but from a why perspective. Then we look at a socializer. Socializers are all about the who. So when we're dealing with a socializer, when we want to know what they want, we need to consider when doing business with them, it's all about their team. It's all about how it's going to support their people to be more efficient, more effective, etc. When we have a look at an organizer and we want to know what they want, they want to know how everything works. In other words, um, you need to describe to them in absolute crystal clear detail, showing them systems, methods, processes, exactly how things are going to work, how one thing is going to happen. They love next steps. And when we talk about a learner, they're all about the what. They need to know as much information as they possibly can get. They love research. They love data. They love testimonials. They love anything that can give them foundation because they're very slow to make decisions. They need loads, buckets and buckets of information to make any decision. Then we have a look at um, the decision-making process associated with the um, four different personality types, right? When you're talking about a dominant, they are very much now people. They want a summary, but they want to do it now. They don't want to waste. They love ground floor opportunities. They love anything that is new and innovative. They love to try out new things. 
And we've looked at how a socializer makes decisions. It's all about showing them when they make that decision, how it's going to help them to do it together. And when we talk about an organizer, it's for them, it's all about when I need to make a decision, I need you to show me how it's going to work. What is the system? What is the process? What is the method? Show me a checklist. Show me how step by step this process is going to be introduced and how in a step by step way is this whole new product or service that you're wanting to introduce to my business, how is it going to serve me in a systematic, methodical, process driven way? When we talk about a, a learner, it's all about doing it right. You can't be late. You can't make a mistake. Even when you give your proposal, if there's a spelling mistake, unacceptable. They want everything to be perfect. They're absolute perfectionists. And when it comes to detail, you can, you can never ever give a learner too much information or too much data. All right, so let's have a look at communicating with these individuals, right? So when we communicate with a dominant type of personality, <laughs> it's very straightforward, right? I just say, be brief, be bright, and be gone. They don't have time to mess around with people who are there to waste time. They don't have time to socialize, to connect, to engage. They want to know exactly why you're there. They want you to be brief. They want you to be enthusiastic, passionate about what you want to sell. And most importantly, once they've made a decision, be gone. And then we have a look at a socializer. Their major concern is, how will it affect my people? In other words, what will working with your organization do to positively transform the lives of my people? What will working with you do to positively influence my people so that they'll become more efficient, more effective, etc.? And that's how your communication has got to work with a socializer. When we're talking about an organizer, pretty simple. Just go prepared. Know exactly what the methods are. Be very concise. Be very clear on what the next steps are. Provide them with checklists. Provide them with systems, processes. The more you can show them how things are going to work, the happier they're actually going to be. And finally, the learner, it's all about the detail. You've got to deliver, you've got to deliver as many details as possible. You can't supply them with too much information. So when you're building your proposal, for example, you want to build a proposal that speaks to all four personality types. You want an executive summary for the dominant, which uh, briefly describes, but, but in depth, it's a brief, but an in-depth description of exactly what your product or service will do for them. When you're talking to a socializer in your proposal, what you want to do is you want to talk to them and you want to tell them, what it's going to do to help their people, what it's going to do to support their people, how their team's going to be better off because of working with you and your organization. When you're talking to an organizer in your proposal, you want to have systems. They love when you talk about next steps. They love checklists. They love systems, processes, etc. And when we talk to a learner, it's all about details. You want to put information. The, the, Probably the first four to six pages, if you want to go as big as that in your proposal, right, speaks to the first three personality types. The other 25, 30, 50 pages, you can never supply a learner with too much information. They're going to they're gonna read your proposal back to front. <music>